Uh, Henderson 911, what's the location of your emergency? 911 dispatcher's job entails being the first of the first responders is what we like to call. Uh, police and fire and medical obviously are known as first responders, but being a 911 call taker is the first first responder. We are always, almost always the first contact that a citizen has when they need help, whether it's police or medical. So they call us on non-emergency or, or emergency. And our job is to get that, gr that location and get help as efficiently and as quickly as possible to the citizens. So we've always been known as the first first responders technically. Job entails a lot. I've been through five training programs prior to this. This is the most extensive. It's a, it's a very multitasking requirement job. You have to know how to do multiple things at once. You need to be a quick typer. You need to handle emergency situations quickly, uh, deploy your resources, police, fire, and medical in the most appropriate way. It's a very challenging job, but it's also the most rewarding job you'll ever have in this field. Some of the skills that are required in this job is usually a fast typer. If you are a quick typer, this job will help you a lot. Um, the listening abilities to hear background noises when you're taking a 911 call is something that is, if you don't already have that, is a hard thing to learn, but it's picking up all sorts of different background noises, different ways people say stuff because they don't unfortunately always tell us the truth when they're calling. So if you can help read people, you know how to communicate with people, you know how to kind of be a counselor, a police officer, a teacher, a little bit of everything on the 911 call, it will help you be more successful in this field because our, our job doesn't entail a lot of positive situations. It's usually people's worst situations in their life. So you have to learn to compartmentalize some of the distresses that you, you deal with on a daily basis. And so it takes someone with a thick skin who's not uh, affected by some of the uh, sadness that we see in here. Some of the advice that I give for anyone who's thinking of coming into dispatch is come and do a sit along with us. We, it's kind of like with the police officers, you can do a ride along and go in their squad car to see what happens on a daily basis. Same thing in dispatch. You come and sit with us a couple hours. It's usually better to do a whole shift if you can, and you really see the, the daily happenings of our job. It's, it's, it's so hard to explain it to you actually see and hear people call them at their worst moments of their life, um, how our daily operations go, because most people just think you just you answer the call, you send help, and that's it. We, no, we help people. We actually give CPR instructions. So come in, the number one thing to prepare, I think, is to come actually and do a sit-along with a dispatcher and see what happens in that 10-hour shift. It is a very rewarding job. We do help people. We do help save lives. You go home every day feeling like you actually did something, and this is a, it's a very rewarding job.